in this question it's given that in an ap sum of m terms is equal to n and sum of n terms is equal to m then we have to prove that sum of m plus n terms is minus m plus n okay so let's solve this problem what is given let's first write that it's given sm so first m terms is n and sn is equal to m and we have to find out s m plus n right so play with subscripts only okay so let's start s m what is s m guys sum of first m terms of an ap is given by m by 2 twice a plus m minus 1 d a and d are not known so and uh, what is a a is first term and d is common difference okay so what is s n then so and sorry this is equal to n okay let it be one and n upon two two a plus n minus one d is equal to m correct right now this is two let's try and find out smn so what is smn let's write it so that we have a track of what exactly we need m plus n by 2 and we need 2a plus m plus n minus 1 times d this is what we are looking for okay okay so how do we go about it so either um, let's subtract these two equations and see what happens okay so subtraction will kill couple of variables so um okay yeah so if you see let's first simplify this by multiplying the two equations by 2 so hence we'll get m 2a plus m minus 1d is equal to 2n correct and n 2a plus n minus 1d is equal to 2m 3 4 now what let's subtract 3 and 4 so 3 minus 4 will give me what so let's you know open the brackets and do the calculation so the first term will be 2am plus m times m minus 1d and here minus 2an minus n times n minus 1d and here you'll get 2n minus m correct so if you take 2a common here so 2a you'll get uh, m minus n and from here um, let's open this again so it is m square minus m minus n square plus n d correct so this is 2 n minus m now what so 2 a m minus n plus you can write this as m square minus n square minus m minus n d correct and this can be written as minus 2 m minus n so I just change the sign on the right hand side so that i can swap the places of the terms inside the bracket okay now this implies 2 a m minus n plus m square minus n square can be written as m minus n times m plus n and this is minus m minus n d correct just check go slowly if you are not able to track it correct so m square i simply wrote m square minus n square as this m minus n m plus n why it will be clear in this very step so now i can take m minus n common in the sec this part m minus n is common right now so m minus n and within brackets m plus n and minus 1 times d and this is minus 2 m minus n now you see you can cancel all m minus 1 because they are common to all common factor to every term so m minus n gets cancelled assuming m is not equal to n because 
if it is zero if m is not equal to n then m minus n becomes zero and you can't cancel zero from the entire equation okay so what do we get we get 2a plus m plus n minus 1d and this is equal to minus 2 isn't it now if i multiply the entire equation by m plus n by 2 right so this will become 2a plus m plus n minus 1d and this one becomes becomes minus 2 m plus n by 2 why did i multiply yep so i'll write multiplying multiplying the equation by m plus n by 2 so when i did that i get this equation so the moment you get that equation now you can see what is this lhs is nothing but s m plus n this is the formula for s m plus n isn't it and uh, what is there in the rhs this two gets cancelled so minus m plus n so hence this is what we had to prove that sum of m plus n terms see sum of m plus n terms which is s m plus n is minus m plus n and we got the same result hence proved isn't it what is the learning so write the you know the given uh, formula use the formula of sum of n terms of nap and then uh, we wrote two equations manipulated subtracted and uh, got the desired result so to keep track of what exactly you have to find out so while we had this thing in our mind we got this expression while doing the manipulations and then we multiplied simply by m plus n by 2 to get the desired result okay hence this problem was solved